so welcome to Bonnie's Designs. This is colour mi color mixing with printer ink. I have um, a very vibrant yellow, cyan blue and a magenta which is a very pinky red. Um, but I thought that if a printer could do some beautiful mixing of colours then so could I. So £3.50 from Wilco's, quite good for practicing and colour mixing but uh, do be careful you've got some little ones because i don't think these are very nice things uh, so do be careful with them i've got purple on my hands so i've been purple probably for a while now so what i'm doing is i'm mixing them on that's my dirty job isn't it i don't know what's in it but never mind so i could do with So I'm going to take some um, yellow green, which is the cold yellow, and I'm going to mix the purple into it because it's its complementary colour. Um, but you only want a tiny amount, the tiniest amount. In fact, I'm not even going to do it with that one. I'm going to do it with this one. And I'm just going to practice with this. So that was the yellow green. So that's the very bright lemon yellow, um, cold yellow, and a bit too much there so I'm going to take it back because it's gone terribly dark very quickly so I'm going to put some yellow back into there so that's with a touch of purple in it and I'm trying to use just and I've got quite a lot on there so I'll have another go with that one so that was that one I think we can get rid of that one because it's got far too much on it. So that's not that one. That one. That's that one. I think that's too dark. Again, I'm going to put some. I'm going to put some. I'm going to take it back slightly. It is very vibrant stuff that I'm taking about too much now. So we'll go with that one then. That's slightly darker. And you really just a touch, really. an extra one in there but you can see you've got some lovely shades from that yellow without adding black or grey I hope you can see that this colour is going completely darker and darker and darker. Hi Galena. Can you see that's getting greyer and greyer and greyer until eventually? You can definitely see the pink coming through of the
that's getting very deep now. And if I take that bit there and show that. So you've got some lovely shades, all from just adding purple. So I get carried away, you see, that's why I can't ever do anything really neat. I just get, just love playing about. So we've got rid of that one. So now we need to get rid of those colours and do it with the... Um, the orange yellow because what I wanted to show you is the difference between adding a light and a dark the difference between adding a dark and then we want the ordinary purple oh I should love the purple so um, that's the purple so we'll put the purple in there Just going to touch the slightest amount and see what that does. Too far. Let's see if we can get it back a bit. Like that. So that one's for that one. And it doesn't go darker. It goes, it goes greyer. So you get these really deep tones just by adding a touch of purple and it's far nicer than adding nasty black or grey Kind of jumped one there, but and now you can tell that that's going purple. So, again, those are completely different to those. So, if you wanted a dull orange shade, or if you wanted a yellow, brighter yellow shade. Did that make sense? So, hi everybody and welcome to Bunny's Designs. Um, this is a live stream, part two of colour mixing with printer inks. So I'm trying to show the differences between a warm and a cool yellow when doing the grayscale. So these are kind of reddy orangey greys and these are dark orangey different they are different so you've got to look at your yellows and decide what kind of scale you want to do now you can do these in a little book your, your color scales or you can do them on a huge sheet and put them on the wall so you can see them all the time but um, I don't really have to do this because when I put my colours into my book I take a, a small circle and I make a, a scale of the colour in every single one so for that colour there I know they're the shades I can get out um, now I can mix these together I can mix them over here if I wanted to but I think I've got enough colours and the reason is I can't really colour mix it's it's too painful for me to colour mix 
Um, but this Lagoon Purple has about 10 shades there. So each colour I can get about 10 colours out of. So there's the, all those, there's three different colours there. And there's three different, none of those colours are the same in any one. Same with the blues. None of those are the same. Am I in focus? Can you see that? Is that okay? Can you see the... Um... Let me me to a second. Let's see if I can put it into focus a bit better. If I zoomed in a smidgen. Is that, is that clear to everybody? So in my little book of my little pencils, they sit in the box and you would think you just get the hot red from it, but you don't. When you put them on a piece of sketch paper, which is the same as this, um, this is from WH Smith and it is, bear with me, I think it's 135 GSM. These colour squares in here are from the sketch sketchbook, so they're 160. But that's all these little squares are, and they're stuck on photocopy paper. But it's a good idea to do this scale because it shows you what you've got. So if you look on that page, there's more than 12 greens. There's more than 12 greens when you look at all these. Um, but I can't, I can't use those anymore. But that shows me... Um, that if I wanted... Whoopsie, just spilt the yellow and didn't go anywhere. If I put this yellow onto here. Now I think I made the, the warm yellow, so that's the warm yellow. And that is the yellow. But this is my cadmium yellow. So that's the lemon yellow. So if I just add a touch of this here. you see what I'm doing? So that's the cadmium yellow. Uh, sorry, that's the lemon yellow. And I'm just putting a touch. Let me see, that's gone to orange straight away. So if you make the orange. And then take a drop of orange and put it to the yellow. Then you get the cadmium yellow. No. That's my cadmium yellow. So you can mix and match. And play with watercolour, oils, acrylics. Um, next week I'll probably do um, the. If I can get, if I can find some eco line, I'd use those. But I'm playing with these inks because I'm just playing about with colour. 
Now I'm zoomed in. Can everybody see what I'm doing? So my idea was to try next the primary blue. And if we zoom out and I shall show that was my colour wheel this morning. I help me frame my mind. doing something strange can everybody see that so what I've got is my my six uh, primaries which is the warm and cool of the red yellow and blue the secondary colors the green the pink purple and the orange and then the tertiary colors are the ones that go in between but I thought it was just interesting to make a, a bluier green a more lemony green a lemony orange a redder orange, a pinkier purple, and a, bl and a, and a bluey purple. And then that just gives you another range as well. So if you want to ask me anything, pop it in, in caps. Um, I wonder why I'm struggling. I've got my glasses on. I can't paint with the glasses on, but I can't see the tiller without. So we've popped that one in there. So that's the the red the, the primary reds adding the green but I realized that they were not very gray there were some nice shades but they weren't really gray so I did it with a, um, a deeper green and then you've got the gray scale so that's the red gray scale which I thought was lovely they're warm nice ready warm um, the, those are lovely warm reds warm grays so out of that you've got at least seven nice grey scales um, and the same with the orange as a um these are quite nice we didn't get back we didn't get quite deep enough but i think that purple's too bright i think i should have known a darker purple a, a richer purple perhaps um in fact i'll do that because i'm going to do that on the outside to show you just the difference um, I can't do anything neat. I'm always really untidy. So I think I like this really deep purple. So we're going to put that deep purple onto there. So if I put that there, you can see the colour. So I hope you can... Just put my glasses on a second. If I zoom out... Oh, going the wrong way. So hopefully, can everybody see that? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a darker purple because I'm not happy with that purple. So I'm going to do really small, that darker purple there. And I'm going to do it with the... Um, the warm yellow, the orangey warm yellow. So I'm going to do that. I shall do it on the outside because I know what they are. So I'm just going to put that little bit in there because it's very vibrant. Give it a good mix and see if that's done anything. Yes, that's done something. You can do it in squares next to each other if you want probably better put a little bit more purple in then mix that round a little bit more purple in i think i've taken that too much and yes i have so what i need to do now is to put some more yellow doesn't take much to take it too far but you can still pop a bit in and well I've done it again so we'll just see what that one does that's slightly darker and then that jumps to quite dark 
and a bit more purple is even darker, a bit more purple. But instead of adding grey to this, you're getting some really, really dark. Gray yellows, but completely different to the other ones we were using. I'm terrible for doing this neat. Really, I'm start really neat, but it doesn't last two minutes. So we want some more purple on there, don't we? It's just turning purple now. I've got some strange colours. So I'm going to do it with the other one now. So we've got. I'm just cleaning a little dish off, and then that's nice clean. So we want the yellow green, so we'll have a nice yellow green here. And then we'll mix the same purple here. Now I've lost that purple, so I might just put... Mm, that's quite a nice purple. It's quite a nice purple, but it's not quite blue enough for me. Now that's what I call uh, purple. So we want that there. Is everybody okay? Welcome to Bunny's Designs. And I'm trying to do a little bit of colour mixing. using a vivid purple and a vivid purple and a bright yellow so straight away we can see that works better the bright purple is working better it's getting some nice deeper shades of yellow Making a complete mess of my page, but never mind, it's all colour. And it's quite nice to play about because it's a long time since I've been uh, messing about with colour. Uh, and the printer inks are quite difficult to work with, they're not that easy to work with I have to say um, and it's all try and error because I keep making lots of mistakes because these are getting quite nice and deep now but I want to take it right to black if I can or some very nice greys and I still got some warmth in there which I'm hoping the purple will take out We're getting there, but not quite. But there's some lovely shades from that initial yellow. Have to forgive me, I'll have a, a quick, oops, a quick slurp as. Um, Keith Floyd used to say, our little uh, celebrity chef, TV, I think he was one of the first to do what we do, well Franny Craddock I think was the first lady, but uh, so did that, can everybody see that, Does that is that kind of uh, as clear as mud? <laughs> so I've got all those colours. 
that I've got. I mean, they are grey. They're not bright colours. They're, they're all grey. I'm not mixing the, the three primary colours together to make bright colours. I'm making the... I'm adding the complementary colour to make grey dull shades. Um, but it makes a difference which yellow you use and which purple you use. So our next one is the blues. So what we need to do is to take our primary blues, which are... Oh, my little puppy's coming to see me. Thank you. Puppy's quiet. So my primary blues, which is the blue-green, the cool blue, which I think we'll do first, so I shall clean that off. Is everybody okay? Uh, little P, are you still following? Are you still colour mixing? There's lots of colour mixing. So we have the blue, and to that we're going to add orange. So we want just the initial orange. So I'm going to take a little bit of that and pop that into there. Oh, excuse me, that's my little puppy. And that's gone suddenly dull. Straight away that's gone dull. And I'm using the tiniest amount, but these are very vibrant. Duller still. And you're getting some really mucky blues from that lovely vibrant that vibrant blue that cyan blue and of course because the yellow is very vibrant in there we've ended up that's what I'm adding that orange uh, and because this is I just done that no I haven't and this is now turning dirty greens now um, and you can tell it's it's slowly going to the green now I don't want to me that oh, I got in I think I should go out. So now we have almost an olive colour. So we can honestly say that if we mix orange and blue together, we can get a dirty olive colour, dark olive. Oh, brilliant, brilliant, fab. So that means we've got some quite nice greens here. And we've got some quite nice, they're like a teal colour almost. And that's, so we know that the orange and blues make the teals and the olives. Um, so that will guide you to make the yellow you want before you mix the blue to it. So you can get the right green. So you need a bit of orange in there. So there's a touch of red with that yellow to make a, an olive or a teal colour. So... More orange is an olivey colour and more blue more blue is a teal colour. Or turquoisey colour, sorry. Turquoisey greens. Um so if we take that off there. Greens is probably the most exciting one because we have the trees and we have lots of leaves and lots of plants. So there's hundreds and thousands of greens. So greens is a quite one, a good one to do. I think we did that a bit a bit that last week. So we'll look on the one last week, and that will show how good I am at mixing the colours again. Um, so now we want the blue purple. So we want a nice, a nice warm blue. So that's an ultramarine. So that's the blue purple. That's a real ultramarine purpley blue, a warm blue. The cobalt blue, I think, is half and half, so I can't work with that. But 
you have to look at the colour and decide is it cool greeny cold blue or is it purpley warm blue and that will decide whether you go for your greens or whether you go for your purples so we're going to mix that with the same orange so I'm going to take just a touch to start with and you wouldn't think just a touch would make any difference to that vibrant blue but straight away you've got a duller blue than you had before and you haven't added black you've had it added yellow and you're getting these gorgeous gray scales now and that's almost like a slate gray that one so there's a difference with your blues for your oranges your complementary orange reacts completely different than it does with the blues the same it's the same orange it's no difference and now we've got some quite dark greens it's just turning into a gray green now so we've got gray blues there some warm grays and now we've got some green grays here and that's because we have a little touch of the magenta in the orange and a little touch of the magenta in the purpley blue so we've got two warm colors so that's the next one and I'll just take that one there so now it's getting an orangey gray now so if we carry on because I've got some more orange there just bear with me I can take that to there and now we're getting some really 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 nice dark greens almost to a dirty brown grey green brown so just by doing that I put my glasses on two seconds probably when you take them off you can't see where they are to put them back on again so they're completely different so if you want a teal um, a, a, a turquoise or a teal color with a, maybe a, a, an olivey you want a cool blue with an orange if on the other hand you want the nice grays the gray scales so if you've got some blues and you want to do some grays but you want warm grays then you want the warm purpley blue with the same orange and that's given you completely different so if you're trying to get turquoise and you do blue and orange but it's a purpley blue you're going to get these colors whereas if you remember to use a cool blue with your orange you're going to get the nice green shades did that make sense um What I'm going to do is I'm just because I did it with the others I'm just going to do another orange so I'm going to make a darker orange than that I think we have a darker orange don't we we have an what's that one that's an orange yellow but I think that's that's not that's I would do it, that's an orange. Let's have a look at this one. Let's try this one. Let's see if this is a darker orange. Yes, that is a that's still an orange. It's not a red, it's an orange, but it's darker. So we'll try that. So we want the red orange the orange red. So this is the orange with a touch of red in it, just to give it a little bit shade darker so it's nearer the the red orange than the yellow orange if that makes any sense does that make sense so that's our yellow and so we'll try with the blue so we want the blue green 
here and we want so we've got the blue green so we want a tiny touch of this dark orange and we'll see what that does and then we'll mix that in and instantly it's gone dark and there isn't a lot on the brush but it's going dark so it's getting really dark so these are grey gr definitely grey greens nice dark grey greens uh, I can imagine that under under a rose bush so you have a bright green and then underneath it you have these deep these are deep rich green greys far better so if I take that one down here they're really getting some nice greens now I've run out of that one so bear with me um, we used the ready orange, didn't we? Yes. Yes, we did. So I'm just going to put a touch there. I think that's too, that's too much. Just to show the difference of how much I am putting in this. And then that was the next bit. So these are some gorgeous, deep, dark, They are definitely grey greens. They are definitely dark greens. I'm trying to think of the greens. I used to know all the colours that the brain's gone gaga. Um, but there are some really deep greens. I would say that's. I'll just do one more. Is that yeah, orange? No, it isn't. So there are some awesome greens there. Some really nice dark grey greens. That would probably be um they would be under the shrubs if you're doing a watercolour, and they would be under under the bark. They would be nice for bark for a darker. That's probably like a nut brown, that I would say that was a nut brown. So and we'll wipe those again and then when we do this again with the other colours you'll be amazed the trick is to keep clean water because it's very important because a shade out makes such a difference from a darker orange to a lighter orange um, so we wanted the dark orange that was the orange red and we wanted the um, the purple blue, the blue purple this time. So I have a, quite a lot, although it doesn't look it on this brush. I'll put it on the edge, and I just want to put the tidiest amount in there to show that you would think putting a pale orange into a blue it wouldn't do anything. But instantly it darkens it. Just drag a little bit more in. And that's because the complementary colours make these colours duller and darker. But they don't make them blacker. And they don't actually change the colour. They just make them darker. So you get a deeper a deeper grey. Now probably take, if you can see now that is going very very grey but it's a warm nice warm grey. It is definitely a grey but it's a warm grey and then if you carry on it'll probably be like a brown again that's a that's a nice that's a chestnut grey that if you keep going you've got a, and I'll put that one there 
So what we've learned is if you want a brown, you've got to stay on the warm side because if you mix your lovely warm oranges with a cool blue, you will never get brown. You will always get greys, which are beautiful, but they're cool greys. We want these beautiful, warm chestnut greys. And so you've got the warm blues here, the warm grey blues for that blue. And you've got the cool greys from that blue. And that's just by adding the complementary colour. Now I've only added two oranges. You could probably do the lighter one. So I probably do, next time I would probably do three oranges. Um, and I would probably do, I may do them in a grayscale down. So let's have a quick look at what I did last week. So we want the purpley blues. Hmm, can't find that one, can't find that one. I've got them here, look. So what we have is, that was the blue with the cool blue. So about here, we've got them here. So that tells me, even though I didn't put a blob of yellow, sorry, a blob of orange, that tells me I must have used... I must have used a mediocre orange. Well, it's there, look. So that one is lighter than that one, but a bit brighter than that one. And these are very similar here. And on the other side, here, they're here. So if you play about, you can find them eventually. Um, now that was the purple blue, but that's a yellow. Did that make did that make sense? <laughs> but the thing is, you realise that if you want a teal colour, I would call that teal. Would you say that was teal or turquoisey blue? You have to have a cold blue for a turquoise, and you have to have a warm blue for some nice browns. Because everybody knows that blue and orange makes brown. But if you mix that blue and that orange, you won't get brown. You'll get some dirty browns, but you won't get some chestnutty browns. And that's because the warmth in here isn't enough. You need the pink in here, which we had to add a little bit of pink to get that warm. So it wants the warm blue and the warm orange to get a brown. Was that as clear as mud? <laughs> right, so that's that one. So that's interesting. And if you had nothing on your walls, you can have these hanging up on your walls and you can see. So the next one is the secondary color is purple and the complementary yellows. But just as the blues were different, I'm going to do I'm going to do the bright purple, the purpley red and the purpley blue. And I'm going to do the purpley red and the purpley blue with a lemon yellow. And I'm going to do it with a cadmium yellow, with a warm yellow. And again we can see the difference. Bye, Lynn. Thank you for joining us. Bye, darling. Thank you ever, ever so much. Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed it. It's a bit long-winded, but I think colour mixing is its one of these things that you need to do on a rainy afternoon when you don't want to do anything else. Because the only thing is, if you stop... Um, oh, that's what I meant to show you. Is them coloured here. I've written down what they are. Um, bear with me two seconds. So what we have here is these are primary blues. And 
and of course it's orange so we had a blue purple and a blue a blue green and the blue green is a cold one um, because it's next to green and the blue purple is the purpley one because it's next to purple so it's warmer so what we have so then we have a blue green one a blue green two a blue green three a blue green four a blue green five a blue green six sorry my thumbs playing up and that's a blue green seven and then you've got an eight oh no you have an eight that's blue green eight and that's a nine and then if you added the warmer orange the slightly reddier orange so that's orange red so this that was orange and this is orange red and then that's one I'll do it now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then I did thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So you really need to know that in order to get some greys, some grey cool greens probably in a river or if you were doing some some very dark um, bulrushes and, and green water water things then you need um, a cold blue a cold blue and a, a warmish a warmish ready orange orangey red because if you put the same amount of a cooler orange because the orange has got more yellow in it, because that's more of a yellow, yellow orange than a red orange, it's made it into green because we know that blue and green, blue, blue and yellow make green. So that's pulling the yellow out to make the greens. But if you put a warmer orange in there, a reddier orange, it pulls it to the browns. So you get these gorgeous deep, deep greens. And it's difficult to tell whether that's a ready brown, sorry, a greeny brown or a browny green. And the same at this side. This side, because you've got red in the purple blue, it's some nice purpley blues shades. But they're still going green. They're still going grey green because you've got the cool orange with yellow in it, more yellow. But when you have more red in your orange, those blue purples that's got more red in it anyway, it goes to browns. So we should know that a reddy orange and a red make blue. Did that make <laughs> is that as clear as mud? Did that make sense? So you wouldn't think that you would get all those different shades just from two blues and two oranges, the complementary colours. But it's far nicer than adding black. If you added black to these colours, you wouldn't have all these gorgeous shades. And these are the grey scales. And normally you have them on the outside going in, on a colour wheel. You have them on the outside going inwards. Because if you carry on, you can get black all those colours mixed together get black and I proved that last week so we go back to our little glass pots and we wipe them again and they're nice and dry because we don't want to water these colours down so now we want 
um, the purples. Now my purples are looking a little bit depleted so um, I'm going to make them again. So I'm going to put one drop of, oh, I'm not going to put a drop in, I don't think. Oh, yes, I'm so, uh, sorry, I didn't hear him come. It's one no, drop of pink no. there and two drops there. Right. So that will, should give us um, a purple purple, a ready purple. So that should be a ready purple. And... Nigel, and then this should be a purple purple. Oh, and that is just lovely. Look, there's two gorgeous purples there. So that's a real purple, and that's the ready purple. That's so exactly right. That's more ready. That's the ready purple. So we'll do because I've got this one, we'll do the purple blue. That's the darker one. That's the one that's more bluey purple. And we'll put that, so that's the purple. And we'll put that on there. So if we put that there, our complementary colour to purple is is yellow, but we want we want um cadmium yellow. So the cadmium yellow is going to be the warm one, so that's the yellow orange. That's the warmer one, so we put that over there, and so we'll put that's the cadmium yellow. So that's the warm. So we have uh, a warm purpley blue. Sorry, I beg your pardon. A cool blue, a bluey purple, and we have a um, an orangey. Well, it's not orangey. It's a warm yellow. So if I touch that, so that's got quite a lot of yellow on it, but I just want a tiny amount. There's still so much yellow on there. So if I just do that, see, see that's instantly. Oh, that's purple. Right. Oh, that's that's toned it down slightly. And bring a bit more of that yellow into here. You wouldn't think that adding yellow to a purple would do any damage to start with. But if it's a vibrant one, it starts turning it immediately. So let's have a look at that. So that is turning. A dull purple now. So I'm going to drop more into there. And I think I should do more squares really, but I was trying to do this so I'd be organised. But I think I'm probably better doing it as. But it's now going quite fawny brown colour that. That's definitely a brown colour, so I'm going to keep going. Um, I should have gone the outside really, so I'll go on the outside and see how how yellow it will go. I'll just take that one over there and end on this one because that's now looking kind of quite nice. Quite nice, Greg. I'm going to just put some more of that over there because I think we can take that a touch more now. And we're obviously getting like a brown green colour now. And that's because we've got the blue in there. I do apologise about the phone, sorry. So we are getting a little bit of a green colour now. It's almost a greeny brown. And that's because what's happening is we have the blue in there and that's making it a stronger color and there's a touch of red in the in the in the purpley blue so that's giving us some green because it's taking the blue out yeah. so there's obviously more yellow yeah. in in the cad yellow 
than there is the blue sorry than there is the, the red at first the red's dominant so you get purples when the yellow kicks in you get dirty greens sorry does that make sense But again, you've got some gorgeous colours just from a bright purple and a bright yellow. So, um, so now we will wipe that off, and it um, is now the blue red, uh, the purple red. So the purple red we said was that one. So that's the purple. Oh, sorry that's the warmer purple there so it's a warmer one it's a pinky one uh samantha darling i really don't want that on here can you shut the door down please sorry about that my husband has no concept of oh just stuck that in there that was a one. so what did we say it was the warm it was the ready purple wasn't it right so that's the ready purple yes that's the right one sorry about that so easy to make to make a mistake so um so now we want the cad is that clean yes now we want the cad yellow so that's the sorry we will still want the warm yellow which i'm looking a bit short on now so if you bear with me two seconds i'm going to make some more i'm going to put some of that in there because that's the real color and then I'm going to put a touch of a touch of that one in there, and that's warmed it up. Since I've still got um, the yellow orange, which is cadmium orange. Sorry, cadmium yellow. Goodness me, sorry, I do apologise. Goodness me. So what I'm going to do is just put a tiny amount on the edge there again. And mix that in and let's see what that does immediately that's made it got dull um, and so we'll mix that one in I think I've taken that too far yeah so I'm gonna put a touch of that back in and see if I can get it back No, I've taken that far too. You wouldn't think that orange, that yellow would be as vibrant as that. It's terrible. It's so strong and it's a yellow. So we want um, red purple. So I think I'm going to make some more red purple. I think that's I think we'll start again so that's a red purple so that's on there so we'll put that on there and then this one has to start again so we'll have a touch Yes, I'm back on track again. So it's now going quite red now. So it's taking that purple and it's diluting the blue. So we're getting some really nice deep reds and that's because the purple has a lot of red in it. So if we keep going, and we go on the outside, we are getting some light browns. And I could do some more. Just bear with me. You do have to have a bit of a play. So we're on cadmium, cadmium yellow. 
so I'm just little on the outside so I'll just take a little bit of that in and we're going to get some I'm not sure what you'd call those colours. I hope they're still in frame. Um, it's a brown, but it's a warmer brown. That's a that's a that's a nut brown. That's a dark, um, almost a burnt umber. Um, not burnt umber. That's raw umber. That's a dark one. Um, this is quite um, a sienna. This is almost a sienna colour. Um, this is going to be kind of really warm it's a brown it's a tan it's a dirty orange it's whatever you want to call it um so again you can mix a purple and a cadmium yellow and get completely different ones so if you want a, a gray scale for your purple you need a cadmium yellow and you need a blue purple Forty-two shades from Lem. What did you say, little pea? Sorry. Just bear with me two seconds. I just have to do that across. Forty-two shades from lemon yellow to pinky red. Wow. Are you going to do that with every colour? <laughs> there are literally thousands, which is why I said. Um, although I have five thousand colours in here, I have a million just with those two colours. That red and that red, that blue and that blue, and that yellow and that yellow. There is not no colour on the planet I can't make because a printer can make all these colours from three. They all come from three colours. So that so that was quite interesting because you ha you so you need if you want if you have a purple cushion and you want some really nice shadows underneath it you need a warm yellow so you've got a coldy blue so that doesn't make sense really because you'd think you'd want a warm purple and a warm yellow but you don't because you'll then get warm browns so if you want some cool browns and some cool grey purples and cool greys you want a cool blue sorry you want a blue purple a cool purple and you want a warm yellow I can imagine that you could spend hours playing with two colours especially a warm and a cold um, so there again you've got lots of different purples so if we turn that over now we will go just excuse me um, um, let, you'll have to forgive my my family because they're in the other room bless them and <laughs> we we have to <laughs> we have to live right so let me just have a look at how far I've been waffling right so do excuse me, I need another drink of cold water. Oh dear, for some reason it's sticking on there. So from this original here, we've got some really nice greys. Um, so I started with that pink, red, pinky red. Uh, that cool yellow and that cool blue so I think that's why that magenta is so vibrant um, so the next one so I'm going to stop this video and um, this recording and I'll start another one if that's okay with everybody so thank you for watching and uh, that's the end of part two of colour mixing with printer ink